city. And, and it's the day two. Yes, and today we're gonna catch a ride, hop on the boat, and go see the Statue of Liberty. Yep, really looking forward to that. Yeah, so it should be a fun day. So let's get started. <laughs> So yeah, here we are. Walking our way to the park from which we'll catch the boat for the ferry ride. But we can't forget to enjoy the view while we're going there. Bull. The Wall Street Bull. It's a bit crowded around here, huh? Yeah. But the markets are crashing. <laughs> So here we are after waiting for a bit and going through an airport like security check. We're on a boat headed towards Lady Liberty. Yep, the security check was so intense that they want all the people to wear a face mask to just pass through that security line. So that was intense. I think it was just their strategic way of selling the remaining mask. <laughs> Maybe, yep. But the skyline views were amazing from the boat. Yeah. Here we are lovely. going away from Manhattan Island. You can see the skyline. The World Trade Center. The one World Trade Center. The ferry was like, it was fully occupied. Oh, it was packed. And one other thing, the day was very hot. So initially everyone wanted to be on the top deck and see the best views, but then eventually everyone started coming down to be part in, of the shaded area. We're almost there. It was very windy on the boat. So big. So much detail. We were so hungry. Yeah, so we just went there before having breakfast. Mm -hmm. And then we realized, oh, we have to go through this whole security check. So we didn't get a chance to eat around the park area either. So by the time we reached the island, it was brunch time and we were starving. <laughs> but it was a pretty short ride. I think it took us about, what, 30 minutes to get there or less. I assume 15 or 20 minutes. Yeah. Not more. Yeah, I counted the time that we were just sitting in the boat waiting for people to finish boarding. You can see the scale of the statue. There are small, tiny little people on the shore. Let's eat. Yes. So the first thing we did once we arrived on the island was go eat. And after that, we walked over to see the Statue of Liberty. I would say it's a nice park to roam around, but the day we went was very hot. We literally started melting after a while. <laughs> Even in a big we look melted. Yes. And it was so crowded. It was very difficult to find a place where you could get a picture without people in the background. So here we are headed to our next destination. So this tour first goes to the Statue of Liberty Island and then it goes to the Museum of Immigration which is on located on a separate island so you have to take a boat to the next stop. It's quite neat. Yep. So just to give a context, so I guess pehle ke time pe jab log America aate the, to immigration and then they were given the citizenship so if you want to officially live in America they decide like if you are fit to be an American or not so yeah, I was really excited to see that part and people used to arrive by boats and like loads of boats <laughs> yeah and the one thing about this museum is that it's pretty authentic they haven't changed much in the infrastructure in the conversion 
to a museum from an active immigration site. So once we get inside, you'll see the architecture. It's quite old, but very well maintained. And they've installed installations to, be, to provide the informative aspect of visiting the space. And they have also preserved the recordings, some videos, photographs, yeah. documentation. Like, see the luggage. But I can't even imagine the difficult times, times, and the journey through the Atlantic Ocean to get here. Mike listened to all of the little... He, you didn't listen to any of them, you turned all of them on. Mm -hmm. No, I listened <laughs> to one. Which one? I guess 1800s one. The one that was... Oh yeah, the history. So this is the big hall where the immigration process used to happen. And people would gather in this hall, present their paperwork, and then go out the other end as a citizen of the United States. So they used to like have their entries, name written and everything. Which boat they arrived by. From where they arrived. Mm -hmm. It was fun seeing this handwritten documentation. Mm -hmm. You could see Statue of Liberty from that place. Because that's just the entry point to America. The face. Yep. This hall is ginormous. So upon receiving your citizenship, you would go through these halls. Right now they're in exhibition. I wonder what they were used for previously. I guess maybe they're they are reserved for people to rest after one tiring journey and then probably uh, their medical checkup and stuff used to happen. Yeah. I found these very interesting, the plans of the area. So guys, thank you so much for taking the tour with us, hopping on the boat and going out to meet Lady Liberty. It was a hot day, but we managed to get through, so... It was really hard, so we expect you to stay with us uh, during our future New York vlogs and do hit the like and subscribe button and stay tuned. We'll see you back soon. Bye-bye.